morning guys um i'm in work so sorry about the music in the background if you can hear it um just checking in to say um i've got my food with me today so i made it all out um and i just wanted to share with you these this is um chocolate orange rice cakes but they are accidentally vegan um i don't know how well you can see um but yeah basically um they work out as four sins each and they're really substantial um you get six in a pack and it costs one pound ten so i think that's pretty good so the challenge is limiting yourself to one or two um but we'll see i'd rather have something like this where like it stretches the amount of chocolate like i seem to appreciate it more when it's rather than just a piece of chocolate so yeah <laughs> anyway i've got the um i've got my noodles and i've got my uh, fruit and granola and like i said my yogurt's in the fridge i also got a banana for a snack oh and also i made my latte my coconut latte that's my uh, one of my healthy extra A choices for the day and um, that's just 400 mils of coconut milk and um, my instant espresso mix um, same as I do it every day to be honest so you're going to see it every single day this week um, but yeah I'll catch up with you uh, when I have some breakfast absolutely gutted someone threw away my yogurt that was left in the fridge at work so I had to borrow some of my boss's almond milk this is the uh, noodles on the go and this is after I've had boiling water in there for about five minutes. Obviously you can see my pot was very, very full. Um, I, If you recall, we flavoured this with miso and soy sauce and it's got mushrooms, courgette, carrot, uh, peas. I've got some spring onions that uh, I forgot to add so I brought with me and of course whole grain rice noodles. Hey guys, it's Monday evening and I've just got back from a walk from, with my mum. And before I went on my walk, because um, I picked mum up on the way home from work, um, she had an operation on the foot recently, by the by. So, um, just, so we came down to my house and then quickly prepped my stuff, so she helped, that was cool. So basically I've got a load of sausages cooked and I've got some potatoes going, which are for lunch tomorrow and lunch on Thursday. So all of this has been in the oven for about an hour on, um, it's on about 180, which is a bit lower than I would normally do it. Here's my veg. Sorry about the mess everywhere. Um, basically, just left it in carnage around the door so we could get our walk in. But anyway, um, the potatoes do need to go back in. They're not done yet. Um, so I'm just going to chop up the sausages, mix them with the veg, and I'm going to mix in um, this pot of garlic and herb passata. So, um, and then I'll put it all back together just so that the pasta warms through in the oven um, and I'll put the potatoes back in on the top. Meanwhile, I'll cook up some pasta and that will be dinner done. So I'm just mixing this together. Like I said, it's just gonna heat through and I'm gonna put the sausages on top because because I didn't turn them, they got brown on one side. <laughs> so one side's lovely and crispy and the other side is like mushy. Well, not mushy, just not crispy. So. I'll, um, I'll put them on top and then I'll quickly get the pasta going. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Dinner's done. Right, excuse the state of this, but I've just done my measured um, 40 gram portion of cocoa cheese. So, and my pasta's done now as well. So I'm just gonna grate this and have that on top for my second healthy extra egg today. Right, sorry about the uh, horrible state of the kitchen, but um, sauce is done. So obviously it's not very saucy. I call it sauce, I just mean the thing that goes with the pasta. 
So serve up as much as you want on top of your cooked pasta, which I just poked a bit up at the side, so it was obvious there was pasta under there. Um, and um, serve up as much as you want. And this is totally sin free, so just have what you want. And then anything that's left, the reason we've done a big portion is so that you can freeze some. So I've got all that to freeze for another day. Now my pro tip regarding cheese with your measured portions, sometimes they can seem a little small, sometimes they seem large. This is 40 grams of cocoa grated up on the small side of the box grate, not the normal large side. And this just makes it go so much further. Also because cocoa doesn't really melt, um, it just sort of helps it absorb in a little bit more. And then you can see that I'm not gonna be able to take a pretty picture now because I have covered it with cheese. So that was a bit silly. Um, <laughs> this is the trouble of not thinking through what I'm doing. Um, but anyway, um, the full recipe is down below. I've, I've not really talked a lot on this one because I was trying to um, uh, get everything done to move out, uh, get out and have my walk. So oh, that'll have to do. Right, I'm gonna go eat. Hey, so I'm just sat down to eat, um, but I just wanted to say, um, the potatoes are in the oven. So this is the potatoes for Tuesday and Thursday lunches, jackets. They'll just be reheated in the microwave at lunchtime. Obviously you can do them from scratch, but because um, I work in an office, etc., you know, it's not really convenient to cook a potato in the oven. And I don't like potatoes, they're just microwaved. I like them crispy. So this is the next best thing. And um, after we've eaten, we just need to prep tomorrow's breakfast and finish prepping tomorrow's lunch, which is some salad to go with the potato. I'm also going to split our tin of beans down so that we're just using two thirds of a tin of beans. Hey guys, so I'm just quickly trying to prep stuff. I've got too much stuff out on the sides again. I don't like working like this. But basically, this is a potato for tomorrow. And I'm going to get a tin. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to get a tin of five beans. I'm going to decant two thirds of this tin onto that potato and I'll pop the lid on, and then that's ready to be microwaved at work tomorrow. I'm gonna make a salad in this pot, and I'm just gonna use, um, I've factored in stuff into the shopping list, so I think um, like a, you can use like half a tin of sweet corn, a carrot, leaves. Um, I can't be bothered with a tin of sweet corn. I don't personally like having sweet corn and baked beans together. I know that's just personal preference, so please don't uh, feel you have to follow my suit. Um, I did buy, some beetroots. I really love these sweet and fiery beetroot. Um, they're a proper little treat. So my salad is going to be this, this, and this, along with the um, beans and uh, potato, and that'll be that. And then also I'm going to put together breakfast for in the morning. So um, I did buy today some yogurt. Well, this is my favourite one. It's half a sin per. 100 grams, so that's two and a half sins if you want the whole thing. Um, breakfast tomorrow morning is the nutty raspberry ripple according to the Slimming World sheet. I'll just show you the original sheet because, ah, because it is here. I have too much stuff out, it's very stressful. I don't like working like this. Let's try again. Nutty raspberry ripple, sprinkle healthy, extra B portion of walnuts over yogurt swirled with berries. So essentially, it's the same breakfast as today, it's just that instead of having cereal, I'm having walnuts. Interesting fact, I don't like walnuts. Um, so that's gonna be a super fun breakfast for me. I don't really know, okay, I do know why. The reason I did this was just to demonstrate the different types of breakfast and to try and follow the plan relatively faithfully. Um, that is the only reason I'm, I'm having the walnuts. <laughs> Um, I'm also not just gonna have raspberries, I'm gonna do the same as I did today and have blueberries and strawberries as well. Um, yeah, I'll show you this when it's all done. Hey guys, so I still have a little bit of clearing up to do, but essentially at least everything is now prepped and done. So these three portions of um, the pasta uh, saucy stuff. So um, they'll go in the freezer, nothing to do with this week's challenge. They are just prepped because I really hate making meals for one portion. It just seems such a waste of time. So, um, yep, there to go in my freezer. So happy days, they're totally sin free as well, which is good. Um, I've got my two small baked potatoes. They're for Thursday. Today is Monday, um, obviously I'm prepping for Tuesday. And then this is um, just under a third of the tin of Heinz five beans. 
the rest of that tin is here on my larger jacket potato, which is for tomorrow lunchtime. Um, so the potato is cooked, so I will just need to microwave this tomorrow at work, which works fine. When you do this plan, if you would like to, please do add um, your healthy extra A of cocoa cheese. You can have 40 grams like I had on my tea tonight. Because I had some tonight, I don't fancy it tomorrow for lunch. I may regret that when I'm in the office tomorrow, but I definitely, tonight, I cannot bear the thought of it. Um, I have a bit of a limited tolerance for vegan cheese. Like I either fancy it or I don't. And right now I, I can't, I don't fancy it. Um, I've made a salad to go with it, um, which is loads and loads of leaves, all the leaves I had left in the house. And that has cherry tomatoes, that sweet and fiery beetroot, radishes and sugar snap peas on there and some salt and pepper. And then that's obviously lunch tomorrow. And then this is breakfast tomorrow, which is the nutty raspberry ripple. Um, I've got, oh God, that's really heavy. I've got um, between 250 and 300 grams of the um, yogurt in there, the coconut yogurt. Um, there's actually a lot of fruit in there. You just can't see because of the way I've, <laughs> I've put this together. Um, there's a good handful of blueberries, a good handful of raspberries and about seven really small strawberries chopped up. Sorry about the noise. And then that is topped, oh, so the yogurt is about one and a half sins. And then that's topped with your healthy extra bee choice of walnuts, which is five walnut halves. I feel like that's a little bit stingy. Um, I would have preferred to have my granola, um, especially considering I don't actually like walnuts. However, I do appreciate that they're good for me. And so I'm giving this breakfast a go. That's me stepping out of my comfort zone. It's rare that I don't like foods, but walnuts, yeah, uh, one of the few things I'm not a fan. Anywho, so breakfast and lunch for tomorrow. Thursday ready for lunch. I think this is for Thursday breakfast. Um, I think it's beans on toast that day, so happy days. To go in the freezer, nothing to do with the week's plan. Done, I'm going to bed.